Today's topic is what is mental health diversion here in San Diego County. Now, if you're watching this video, chances are a loved one has recently been arrested here in San Diego and has some sort of underlying mental health illness and you want more information on what you can do to get them the help they need and to get them diversion here in San Diego. If you wanna hear more about this topic, please stick around. I think you're gonna like this video. My name is Dodd. I've been a criminal defense attorney here in San Diego since 2004. My firm is Dodd Law. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about mental health diversion here in San Diego. Now I've been practicing for a very long time in this county and I have a lot of experience in handling cases involving mental health issues. Mental health diversion is a great program. However, keep in mind that the DA's office will almost always oppose any mental health treatment or mental health diversion. So typically what's going to happen in a mental health diversion case is obviously someone gets arrested and they have court coming up and they let their attorney know that they have some sort of mental illness. Have they been seeing a psychiatrist? Have they been seeking treatment? Have they been getting counseling you know, for the past you know, months or even years? Your attorney will then get an independent psychological evaluation done. And that evaluator will evaluate you, get all your medical records, get all the records of whoever you've seen in the past, your past psychologist, past psychiatrist, other doctors that you have seen, and write a report to the court. Your attorney will then file a motion and attach that doctor's psychological evaluation to the motion. Now, there are several criteria in the mental health diversion motion that your attorney will have to argue. Number one, they're gonna to have to show that you suffer from some sort of mental health disorder. And number two, that disorder played a significant role in the current case. So what that means is there has to be some relation, some nexus between your actual mental illness and the actual crime committed the doctor will put together a comprehensive report and explain to the judge why in their professional opinion, your mental health illness directly relates to the alleged crime that was committed. Number three, they will also have to show that your mental illness will respond well to treatment. You're gonna to have to waive your right to a speedy trial and you're going to also have to agree to comply with certain terms of this treatment. Now. What's going to happen is your attorney will go to court at a mental health diversion hearing and will have to argue that hearing in front of the judge. The prosecutor will oppose and the prosecutor is going to argue that number one, yes, you do have a mental illness. However, that mental illness may not have been the reason why this alleged crime was committed or they might make up some other arguments as to why you should not be eligible for mental health diversion. The judge will then decide whether or not you get diversion. If granted diversion, it's typically for up to two years. So what would happen is since you waived your speedy trial rights, the case is going to get continued and you're going to have periodic court hearings where you're gonna to have to come back to court and you're gonna to have to show progress in what you've been doing. A judge might order you to do outpatient treatment, some inpatient treatment, continue to take medication, continue to see doctors, some sort of dual diagnosis programs. There are various things that the judge may order you to complete and you're going to have periodic court dates to show progress on how you're doing on that. If you come to court and you're completing everything, then you can get another court date in a few months from then to come back and show progress. If you do not do what you're doing, you could get kicked out of the mental health diversion program, they will reinstate the criminal proceedings and the case will start all over again. If you have any questions, go ahead and give us a call. 
My name is Dodd. I'm the attorney with Dodd Law. I've been doing this since 2004. You can call us at the numbers below. You can also hit that like button. You can subscribe to our channel. I've been handling these cases for a very long time. So if you have any questions, go ahead and give us a call. If you have a loved one going through the process right now and you believe that they do have a mental health illness and they may qualify for mental health diversion, go ahead and give us a call at the number below. Thank you. Have a great day.